Hey, this is Skip. I looked all over YouTube and couldn't find someone that did a Subaru Outback with the H6 and did the Blue Devil head gasket sealer. Um, this is a car my son bought and it lasted him two weeks. So this is a, a great proof of as is no warranty. Drove it off the lot. Two weeks later, head gasket, I believe, has gone out. So we're going to try this out. I've already done the radiator flush. Read the instructions. Um, all the videos I watch, people go over the instructions. I'm not going to do that. Um, there's also instructions on the, the bottle. So if you're at this point where you're looking for a video, you should know what you're going to be coming up against. And you should always read the instructions and not rely on the person in the video to tell them to you. So here we go. Got a cramp so to make it easier to get the thermostat out because it's on the bottom. We've already done the flush and drain. You can hear from the cutting that it's got a fouled out spark plug. All right, here's the bottom side of the car. It's covered up with the splash shield here. So we're going to have to unbolt that. You can see there's a lot of these screws here. I'm going to have my son Hayden get down here and we'll get this splash shield off. Hayden's going to pull the screws off with a 12 millimeter. There's also two clips hold the splash shield in. Here's the panel. Now on the driver's side of the engine Keep your mouth closed when you crack the second bolt open. Well, hopefully it's just water. Should be after the drink. All right, watch out for the gush of fluid. Pop out the thermostat. back in the hole.
tightening up the thermostat bolts. Okay, this is 32 ounces. The system holds one and three quarter gallons. So that's gonna be, we're gonna put a gallon of water in and then we're gonna put uh, another half of a gallon and then we're gonna put this in and that should make our one and three quarter gallons. the instructions up to three gallons use a half quart so we're going to use a little more water than I said earlier start the engine.
got half a bottle in. You can see that plenty of bubbles in the overflow. That's just one thing that it does whenever it has a head gasket blown, compressing the air out of the cylinder and going into the cooling system. You can also see it's it's puffing. So instructions say to run it for 50 minutes. So we'll be back to check. Well, we're 15 minutes in. You can see there's still a good bit of moisture coming out of the tailpipes and vapor. And it gets better as we get closer to the 50 minute mark. 15 minutes in, still got a good bit of bubbling. about 30 minutes in. Still got tailpipes dripping. Still got puffing out vapor. minute mark. Still got vapor. Still got a little bit of dripping coming out the pipes. Still bubbling. Yesterday, today I refilled the radiator with water and put the other half of the bottle in and it's been running now for about an hour. And you can see the difference in the water bottle here. So it will hit a minute and then bubble. And then the top and then a minute and then bubble again. So that is an improvement. And then we'll look at behind the car. You can see the stains yesterday where so much water was coming out of the pipes. And today, hardly anything on the ground. And occasionally you'll see some puffs of vapor. So, a great improvement. I'm going to leave it running for a while longer and see if the bubbles quit altogether. So the, so the last I saw you, it was January 8th. Today is the 21st. And in these last few days, we've gone from 80 degrees several days in a row. Today's the high of 40. So uh, the work environment is definitely a whole lot cooler and some numb fingers. So what we did find is uh, during that time, we were chasing a misfire and turned out that the uh, number three cylinder was giving us some issue. Um, after checking it out and switching the uh, number two coil with the number three and or well, the number one with the number three uh, coil and then switching spark plugs and checking that we had fire um, so I checked the fuel injector turned out the injector had the uh, tip glazed over and couldn't spray anything out so that's what we found out our uh, misfire was out it seemed that the bottom of the tip was, was glazed over and it looked like maybe it was it looked to be it looked something like super glue I know it probably couldn't have been but we didn't own the car its whole life so who knows what, who's done what um, car is running better 
we put the uh, thermostat back in and now we are uh, still back up with antifreeze the bubbling can cease so the blue devil works even at the back of the car it being a cool day you still see some puffs but it definitely looks a whole lot different than it did when we first started and had huge puddles behind it. I also found that the radiator cap was broken. So we replaced the radiator cap as well. So take a chance on Blue Devil head gasket repair uh, in a bottle. Worked for this 2005 3.0 H6 Subaru and hope you guys have success with it as well. Have a good day.